Yes, yeah, he was. Uh, Liverpool then take the victory to close the gap on Newcastle uh, to six points uh, with regard to the Champions League race. What was different today, Stevie, from Liverpool? I think going forward, they were sharper. Mm, right. Because in previous games, they've had opportunities to score goals and haven't taken it. You know, you're talking about Salah. What a, what a ball from Salah. We haven't said that for a long time. Yeah. You know, poor Darwin Nunez. People jump on on his back for missing chances and he sticks it away like a, like a world-class striker that I think he's going to be. So going forward for 22 minutes, they were, they were the old Liverpool. There was Un still some vulnerability there, though, even though down to 10 men, wasn't there? Unfortunately, the strangest thing happened when they went a man up and they panicked. They yeah. couldn't keep the ball. They couldn't keep the ball. Newcastle hit the crossbar before half time. Yeah. Could have gone in 2 1. And it was a little better in the second half, but it just it was so good for 22 minutes. And then I guess what we saw is where Liverpool is right now. You know, confidence wise, they're a little frail. And it has to be because when you're a man up against a 10 man Newcastle side and you can't keep the ball, then. You're, you're not in a good place. You, uh, you won, Stevie, by the way. Liverpool won. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, just letting I'm you just, know. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to balance out how good they were for 20 minutes, but how disappointing, really. Yeah. Considering they're a man up and they keep turning the ball over, and Newcastle were never out of this game, which you shouldn't be saying about a supposed world-class side against 10 men. The game should have been done and dusted. But it, it was never quite over. But in the end, it is Liverpool who get the win. And Don, from what we've seen of Newcastle over recent weeks, this maybe isn't the biggest surprise. I fancy Liverpool before the game, exactly for that reason, Dan. I think before the game, you know, Newcastle had drawn four on the spin, so that it looks like on the surface that the wheels were coming off slightly. But I was half glass, half full. It was, it was unbeaten in 18. It was, it was still fantastic form. I think all eyes are on the cup final. You can't help but think, you know, some of the players have got an eye on the cup final next week and maybe they don't want to get injured. I thought Liverpool were actually a good second half. Even though Jurgen Klopp made four changes, they looked a little bit rusty, the players that he brought on, like Firmino, like Jota, but they still had chances to bury the game four or five. But Newcastle now, instead of looking up down where once Newcastle were in second, all of a sudden Newcastle fans are looking to the cup final and they're starting to look at teams like Tottenham and Liverpool who are just starting to make inroads and Newcastle might just fall out the top four. But it's still been a magnificent season. Well, let's see, Don. Uh, like People might be thinking, oh, wait a minute, why are they being distracted by a Carabao Cup final? Well, because we've not won a trophy since the Fairs <laughs> Cup since 69. We've been in one or two cup finals. But, you know, you ask any genuine Newcastle fan and you say to Newcastle fan, do you want to finish fourth and lose the cup final? Or do you want to finish fifth and sixth and win a trophy? It's win a trophy all day long. They are desperate for a trophy. These lads will be heroes if they win the Carabao Cup next week. It's so big for Newcastle. Uh, Liverpool, though, with a game in hand, Stevie. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Hey. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think, mm. I th I think they, they've mm. put themselves back in. But again, you've got to look at what's above them. You know, can Brighton and Fulham keep doing what they've been doing all season? You, you'd question it. Right. Tottenham, you're just not quite and sure. And they decimate with injuries, aren't they, at the moment, Tottenham so, as well? So, look, Liverpool have won a game against Newcastle, against 10 men. Mm -hmm. let's, let's get back to the basics. Yeah. That's what it is. Right. So it's not, it's not like we saw, f we saw flashes of the dominating Liverpool machine that was rolling teams over the last two or three seasons, it's not. You know, you could, you could argue if you were a Brighton fan or a Fulham fan or a Tottenham or a Newcastle fan as well, that, you know what, after the cup final, if we don't win it, well, that's just going to spur us on. So there's a lot of ifs and ands. Liverpool have put themselves in a position that they could do it. Are they favourites against all the teams above them? No. Who not. is? Who is a favourite? No. We spoke about it last week. Spursy. Just because it's Spurs. Just because. <laughs> if Spurs play 10 games, they'll win, they'll win six and get 18 points. Right. Other teams might draw six or seven and end up with 14 points. 
It's just Spursy, so I guess I'm going to go with Spursy. All right. There. That was some uh, quick bat there, Stevie. I don't know if it was correct, but... I just, I just don't, see, I don't see Brighton and Fulham keeping it going. Right. Uh, last word on this to you, Frank. Uh, I'm, I still Liverpool uh, uh, was very fragile today, still. You know, yeah, they play well for 20 minutes, but Newcastle had a chance at a very uh, early minutes of the game. Um, and uh, we see our lights, we see the beautiful uh, assist from, uh, from uh, Salah, but, you know, if you see the whole game, you see so many clumsiness from some players, and he's, he was the first. Uh, they not, some players, they're not at the, at the level they were before. And I have doubt that they can finish in the first four place because, don't forget, it's hard to make a statement after a win away from home when you play a team who play for an hour, uh, 10 against 11. So I'm, I'm still not convinced that uh, Liverpool is, um, is healed from the, from the recent past. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.